to the resignation of Michael Flynn. Well, I guess the first thing I want to say about General Flynn is that I served with him in Afghanistan. He's been in uniform most of his adult life, and I think he's uh, a terrific military officer, served our country well. But apparently it got to the point of where uh, the vice president believed that General Flynn misled him about a conversation with the Russians, which uh, led to his uh, demise as national security advisor. Really what I want to know is I haven't seen the transcripts. I don't know what we're talking about. What did General Flynn say to the Russian ambassador about lifting sanctions? Did he say anything at all or is this just being spun by the media? So I think Congress needs to be informed of what actually uh, General Flynn said to the Russian ambassador about lifting sanctions. And I want to know, did General Flynn do this by himself or was directed by somebody to do it? Well, and that is an important question. Do you believe at this point, Senator, that Flynn misled the White House or do you think that he was authorized to talk sanctions with Russia before President Trump took office? I'd have a hard time believing that General Flynn would get on the phone with a Russian ambassador and suggest that, don't worry, we will, go, we, we will revisit this when we get to be president in terms of executive sanctions uh, without some understanding that the administration would be sympathetic to, to the idea. Now, I may be wrong. Maybe he did this in a rogue fashion. Maybe General Flynn went rogue, but uh, that's you know a question I need to know more. I don't know. Uh, he's, he's a pretty uh, strong-willed fellow. But I think most Americans uh, have a right to know whether or not this was a General Flynn rogue m maneuver or was he uh, basically speaking for somebody else in the White House. Well, and, and